If you're at home, maybe you're in your office, I'd like you just all to grab a seat, to have a seat somewhere. I want you to start with feet shoulder width apart. So this is something you can do. Take 10 minutes in between your day, maybe set an alarm, maybe on your lunch break, and get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing. So we're gonna start together here. Feet are shoulder width apart, sitting nice and tall. We're gonna start with one minute of sit squats. So shoulders back, you're just gonna stand, reach your hips back, and sit. So even just this small action of sitting, pushing through the heels, shoulders back, and standing up is gonna elevate that heart rate. You'll notice in a few seconds, you'll begin to feel it start to beat a little bit faster, okay? Again, this is a great way to wake yourself up. You feel like you're falling asleep in the middle of the day. You wanna get a little blood flowing. This is something you can definitely do. Make sure you have a stable chair. Mine has rollers, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful there. All right, move the chair back. Now in a standing position, we're just gonna do some high knees. So I'd like you to go ahead and hit this action right here. All right, so nice and tall. Again, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. I'm dressed for work, but you can again still take a few minutes to move daily and feel like you're getting some blood flow. Taking a little jaunt outside around your office, going and finding some stairs in the back hall. Anything like that is going to help just increase blood flow in the body. All right, 30 more seconds here. You might begin to feel this a little bit in your glutes. I definitely feel my heart rate starting to elevate. You can increase this a little bit by running or lifting hands above the head. Anytime your hands are above your heart, your heart has to pump a little bit harder. All right, last 10 seconds here and then we're gonna move into some stationary lunges. In four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's turn sideways. One foot behind, one in front. You're gonna do a little pelvic tilt. And we're gonna drop straight up and down for 30 seconds a side. All right, here we go. Nice and tall. Feel free to hold on to something if you like. Now, this is a great hip flexor stretch. We did this in the uh, movement in your truck after sitting all day again in your office. Oftentimes we sit, unless we have that standing desk, which is recommended. But if not, this is a great way to stretch those hip flexors. All right, switch sides, little pelvic tilts and drop. Keep your shoulders back. This exercise, you wanna make sure you're not leaning forward at all, that you're straight up and down. And again, pushing through that heel. Don't want that knee to go over the toe. You want to drop that back knee right down to the ground. Good, and shake that out. We're going to move into a squat roundhouse. So again, feet are shoulder width apart, shoulders are back. I want you to squat down low and then bring that leg up and around as if you're going over a garbage can or something low to the ground. Up and around, just like that. Again, sitting, being stationary, tightens us in our hip mu muscles, in our hip flexors. This is a nice way to open up those hips. And again, get the heart rate up. Shoulders are back, you're nice and tall. Drop your glutes low. Even wearing high heels, you can do this. Nice and slow, doesn't have to be quick, but I guarantee you feel like your heart rate has begun to increase, hasn't it? I know it, because mine has too. Good, 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one more right here, and done. All right, one of the things that can happen as you're sitting at your desk is you get that internal rotation of the shoulders. Here's a great way to stretch that out. So I want you to stand about half a foot away from a wall. Now I want you to put your arms on the wall and push your lower back into the wall. Do a little pelvic tilt so the middle part of your lower back is right flush against the wall. Now, that might mean your arms pop off. Try to keep them back against the wall. Head is resting on the wall. You're gonna reach up as tall as you can, trying to keep the back of your hands 
and your arms on that wall the entire time. Good, knees are soft. And you're just gonna take this up and down, keeping that back on the wall. If I were watching you, I'd try to slip my hand right behind your back to make sure that it's staying on the wall. Wanna get right here. It's hard for me to actually keep my arms on the wall. I've got some tightness in my front shoulders. But repeat this for about 10 to 12 reps. Sitting for an extended period of time is going to cause that lower lumbar muscle to feel really tight. So stand with your feet shoulder width apart. You can put your hands on your hips. I want you to hinge forward at the waist, rounding down through the lower back. That's gonna stretch the hamstrings. Now sit up tall and lean all the way back, pushing your hips forward, looking to the ceiling. Nice and slow, let's repeat that round round, round through the lower back. Again, lengthening through those hamstrings, working into that lower back a little bit, leaning back, chin up to the ceiling. Good, let's do that one more time. Just standing up midday, doing a few of these stretches is gonna help so much to keep things from seizing up on you, from tightening up, all right? So just add a few of these stretches into your everyday action. All right, I want you to come to the back of your chair now. Go ahead and just move it forward. You're gonna place your hands on top. I want you to take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to press the chest towards the ground. Now, again, rounded shoulders as you're typing, as you're working on a computer, as you're looking down. We wanna open up into that pec muscle just like that by pushing the chest to the ground. Hold that there. And I want you to round up through the back and try to separate your shoulder blades. Okay, just think of them rounding, opening up through the shoulder blades. Again, take a deep breath in. Exhale while you push your chest towards the ground and stretch that out. Let's increase the stretch by dropping one hand and letting that pec muscle push towards the ground. Just hold that there for a few seconds. That's it. And round up, switch sides. Press the chest toward the ground. You'll feel a nice stretch right in that pec muscle. Again, that gets so shortened when we're seated and rounding in through the shoulders, but this is a great stretch to open that up. All right, let's have a seat again. We're gonna do a few more stretches here just to finish off. You may not have a lot of time in your day, but even throughout the day, in between emails, you can add this stretch. Go ahead and stay seated. Shoulders are low away from your ears, and you're gonna put your hands on one of your chair handles there, and just do a nice little torso twist. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. And in this position, you can tilt your neck. Just gently bring your ear towards your shoulder. Hold that there for a few seconds. Good, and release and drop your body as low as you can onto your lap there. Just let everything hang. You can let your neck hang down. Hold that there, rounding through that lower back. Now gently, slowly sit up, and let's put our hands on the other side of our handle here. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Hold that twist right there. That's it. And go ahead and tilt the neck to one side. Just increasing that stretch into your neck extensors. Feeling that lower lumbar just loosen up a little bit. All right, bring it back to the center and we're gonna round through the shoulder blades and stretch that middle back muscle right there. We're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. So this can be done on a step, on your chair, uh, something low, even on the ground if you'd like, but if you can lift your leg up this high, feel free. Knee is soft and you're just gonna hinge forward at the waist. Wow, that feels good. Again, very shortened muscles there, so lengthening through that muscle is gonna keep you limber. Uh, and stretches like this that can be done over time and consistently are really going to help you to not feel so stiff and to keep your muscles and ligaments agile. All right, let's switch sides. Leg is up, knee is soft, don't lock that knee out and just hinge forward at the waist. So again, you feel that lengthening. Super easy to do in your office. Take 10 minutes. Again, set a timer. One minute at each section doing these nice little stretches. And in 10 minutes, you'll have a nice little heart elevation. Um, your pulse will get up, your blood will be flowing, and the muscles will be stretched. Okay, last stretch here. 
You can hold the back of your chair for balance if you need. We're gonna do a quad stretch. Again, lengthening in through that hip flexor. So go ahead and grab your shoes. Now, if you can't manage this because it's too tight, feel free to set your leg behind and lean forward like that instead. But if you can grab it, go ahead and grab your shoes. I want you to try and bring your knees together and lean back slightly. Push your hip towards the opposite wall or for me towards my chair here. Standing tall, stretching through my quad muscle just like that. All right, switch sides, grab your other shoelaces. Knees are together. Okay, I'm pushing my hips forward, trying to lengthen out through the quad muscle there. Setting these as a to-do list, reminding yourself by setting a timer. These are essential elements to keeping you fit and healthy and making choices that are ultimately gonna lead you down the road to better health. So I hope that you do that this week.